guys, it is Pretty Row with Pretty Row Plans and I am back with another budgeting video. Today I will be doing my first paycheck budget of February. But before I get started with my first paycheck budget, I need to go over and review the last paycheck of January. All right, so here is the last paycheck of January and everything was pretty straightforward. I really didn't have too much going on this paycheck but I will share my numbers with you guys as I always do. So rent was $825. My renter's insurance was $692. Water came in at $4198. So I was under budget for that. Cable and internet came in at $58.59. So I was under budget for that as well. Car insurance was $32. Apple, Apple was $299. The cell phone was $90. I did put $400 in my spending account. And my unbudgeted amount was a total of $160.03. So, <laughs> this unbudgeted amount, I forgot to incorporate the electric in paycheck number three. I did do it for the month, but I didn't do it for this paycheck. So, although I'm in the green for the month for my electric, I am in the red for this paycheck because it's not a line item on here. My electric this month or this paycheck was $110.03. And then I made a bet with Ty and I lost. I ended up giving him 50 bucks. So that also came out of this amount as well. If we add all of these up, we have 825, 692, 41.98. 58, 59, 32, 299, 90, 400, and 163. Gives us a total of $1,617.51. So if we go through, Let's see how much I was over budget by. So we got 45 minus 41.98. That is a green 302. 60 minus 58.59. That is a green 141. That was zero, that was zero, that was zero, that was zero. And then this gets a red 160.03. So, I am over budget this month by $155.60. And if I subtract the $116 from the $1461, I should get the $155.60 just to make sure that my numbers are correct. Bam! So that is correct. I'm only rolling over my cushion, which is 100 bucks right now. The rest of whatever was left over from this paycheck will go into my savings account. This month, I was actually able to save $172.36. I would like to show you guys my sinking funds. I only made one purchase out of my sinking funds this month, which was $49.43 from Baby K, which I share with you guys. So, here, $49.43, which now is, that account is 15 minus 49.43, which gives me $600.72. And the rest of this stays the same. I did not put anything in the house or wedding fund, so those are all zero. So if I add up all of these numbers, I get 
$1,763.06. So when doing my reconciliation, I got $1,763.06. And then I'll check my bank to make sure that that number is the exact same. And which it is, I'll screenshot and show you guys. 176306, there's no difference. And right now those are zero. So, I did good for this month with my sinking funds and keeping them intact. So now that that is done, I will go ahead and start on my first paycheck budget as you guys know i did switch sticker shops i am now getting my stickers from goddess planning shop because they fit better with plum paper planner also if you would like to purchase a plum paper planner and you are a new customer my email is down below shoot me an email and i will send you a link to get 10 percent off your first purchase For this paycheck, I only actually have a few bills. So we have my mortgage payment, which is due on the 15th for $13.4196. And then we have the HOA, which is also due on the 15th for $195. Next, we have ADT, which is due on the 20th for 2658. I have the escrow payment that I need to make, which is 259.29. This isn't due until March 1st, but I'm paying it now to get it out of the way and so that I don't forget about it. Um, next, as you guys know, this month I will be starting back on contributing to my sinking funds. So this paycheck I will be putting $141.77 towards that account. My spending account, I am still giving myself $400. And then we just have unbudgeted which should be zero, but we'll see. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our total line here. So adding all of these up, we have... You know what I need to pay my taxes so I need to add that line item in there which I have $80 for so let's put taxes here and 80 bucks here so let's add 80 to this number which gives us $2,444.60. So that is how much I am expecting to spend with this paycheck. We will see if that number remains the same. I'm just gonna add a few more stickers here. And put my remaining balance which is gonna be my rollover balance. And then also with paycheck number one, I will be receiving income from YouTube. Let's kinda of put that down here. 
and my YouTube in there. There we go. So that is my budget for paycheck number one. There is not much to it, not many bills, no debt except for mortgage. So we're just moving right along. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.